Even an older cart chassis, say from like late 90s or 2000s, honestly, isn't a whole lot different than a brand new one. What's up, people? <laughs> Video two of Project Cheapo Racing Cart. Trying to prove that you too can go racing on a reasonable budget and do well because of talent and intelligence, right? Heck yeah. Do we have any of either of those two things? Possibly. Oh. <laughs> All right, so let's fake it and show them what we did, right? Let's do it. Okay, go ahead. All right, so here's the cart after getting it all together. So you saw when we took the thing apart initially, that's to inspect all the parts. That could be Nerf bars, that could be axles for straightness, cogs, everything like that. So you take it down and you clean it up. If you come on in here, you can see on the frame, it was kind of painted this funky dark maroon metallic. And honestly, we just don't have time to strip the whole thing down, sandblast it and whatnot. So in a number of these places where the paint was screwed up, like here, where there used to be weights or back here, we just shot it with Rust-Oleum Gloss Black. It looks pretty good, cleans it up a lot, so it's not gonna corrode and go from there. You can see the bumper we cleaned up and painted, you know, all those things. It's just freshening it up. If the parts are straight and not cracked, you can totally use it. So that's, that's just basic stuff there. Going beyond that though, so this is the original chain that was on it, and we briefly ran it, got a little dirty, and we have the one sprocket and everything there. The teeth of the sprockets and the clutch were in decent shape. And the clutch was also in decent shape, but we took them apart, degreased it. Obviously you don't want any kind of grease, oil, or impurities on your clutch surface because it needs to engage properly with the, the torque curve of the motor so you can accelerate and not suck. That's how that really works, since it's single speed. Getting things as aligned as well as we can, safety wiring bolts for the axles, safety wiring bolts for the, um, the what do you call it thing? The brake! And uh, so I want to show you guys this. This is a set of safety wire and safety wire pliers. So you can take it and put it through a hole in a bolt, you grab this, lock it in, and then when you pull it like this, it spins it and twists it. What that allows you to do on things that are important like steering, brakes, anything you don't want to fall apart, especially on racing motorcycles or go-karts, it keeps it from falling apart and having something really <laughs> bad happen. So if you're going to go kart racing or motorcycle racing or any racing, you need safety wire and pliers. You need to get them in an airport because that's really important with airplanes. So we got it aligned. As far as the motor goes, it came with some free oil. That's, that's how cheap we are. We're using the oil that came with it. But it looked pretty good. It was made for kart racing and four cycle engines. So we put that in. We did throw a new air filter on. We could have used the other one, but it was ultra janky. Uh, so we did that. We got some brand new tires from Hoosier. Uh, Hoosier has been awesome and helped Genius Garage win races at Indianapolis Motor Speedway, um, Mid Ohio, et cetera, even when there might have been something wrong with our car, like that Corvette. So we really like them. They helped us out. Um, but we're still considering that in the budget. All said and done right now, so we bought the initial cart running, but kind of ragged out for $650. And even with the tires, the set of new tires, because that's your most important thing for going racing. Like your cart's got to run and not break and work half decent. But if you don't have good tires, you're screwed. So even considering all that, we're still under $1,000 for a effectively ready to go racing cart. Now we don't have a lot of spares in terms of gears and such, and we haven't set it up and it's a bit older, but that's not the worst thing in the world. Because even an older cart chassis, say from like late 90s or 2000s, honestly, isn't a whole lot different than a brand new one, okay? But when you get into that, you get into the nature of different tracks and rules and everything like that. So if you want to race at a particular track, you gotta look at what are the classes and what are the rules. So for instance, if you're running a four stroke, what four stroke engine is that? Is that an LO206 Briggs? Is that some sort of clone engine? Are you allowed to modify it or not? Um, also with panels, these are the old school flat side panels. They work fine for keeping you from interlocking wheels and being a problem and they're cheap to replace. But nowadays there's all swoopy pretty ones, la 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 la. Basically so you spend more money even though carts haven't really changed that much. But screw that, you know, if you got to, forget the world caliber stuff. You want to go racing, you want to use your talent and grow. There's lots of great tracks out there that'll still let you run as long as it's safe and smart and isn't an unfair advantage. So for instance, for us, we're going to Fremont Raceway Park. We got a little bit newer nose on it. And actually the nose was super ragged out. It has been like painted and had fake carbon fiber wrap on it. So to make it match these side panels. And the other thing is, this is super jank, but we only had left side panels. So you can see how we trimmed the back so they would match either side. Looks pretty good for Project Cheapo, right? And this here, and we had some orange vinyl and white vinyl and electrical tape for a number. So bam, but anyway, so this didn't match and it looked like crap. So we cleaned it up and we had uh, some forward blue. It's a pretty good match. So not bad, right? And uh, if people are slow, I'm gonna let them know I'm behind them. And I expect my students to also. So that front bumper is gonna get beat around a little bit. So 
little spray paint goes a long way. Um, probably one of the nicest things about this cart is the seat. Um, seats have to fit very tight, okay? Because you're effectively part of the chassis and if you're flopping around, that's messing everything up and making it hard for you to drive. This is a nice one that already has a good amount of padding. Trust me, carts will bruise the bejesus out of your body. Your hips, your ribs, your arms. I remember being in college once, sitting with a polo shirt in class and there was this girl next to me. My entire arm was black and blue and yellow and all those horrific colors when you're just like obliterated. And she looks over and goes, oh my God, what happened to you? I should have had a great story like a bar fight or something. I'm like, oh, I was racing go-karts and it kept banging into the motor. That was two stroke and it was way wilder. But seats are important and this one's covered. So, you know, if in the future you're building carts, um, really put a lot of work into the seat, making something that's nice so it's not gonna jack up your body. Uh, the steering wheel, actually we, we replaced the original one. It was total garbage. A tip on that is, and this is a, a nicer one that's good, but if your steering wheel is crap, and instead of just wrapping with duct tape or something, go to the sporting goods store and maybe get some, uh, you know, baseball, uh, bat grip tape or even a bicycle store and some road bike grip tape and just do a real good job and wrap it and look nice uh, This is something I had just sitting on my bookshelf. It got wrapped with leather a long time ago. So kind of old-school uh, But hey, why not we dig it and uh, And that's pretty much that and as far as any new parts that we put on this very few So we've got new tires from Hoosier. Those are fantastic and we hear that Hoosier's is a great edge actually right now uh, We've got a new air filter because the other one was super jank and um we put some exhaust insulative wrap on the exhaust right here because it's very close to your arm. And uh, even if you have to wear a jacket, you don't want to burn your jacket up. So we did that just for, for there. We got a chain guard over here that bolted on the motor. That way if you lose the chain or it breaks, it doesn't go flying up and hit you in the back side of the arm. And we're actually going to add a longer piece here so the chain doesn't come up and nick you in the back or hit somebody behind you if it were to come off. Uh, we did put a fuel filler on because there wasn't any and we had some new fuel line which is very inexpensive, my gosh, I think it's like a buck two bucks a foot, maybe, at max. Uh, but fuel filter is very important because you don't want to clog up your a jet. Uh, we put new oil in it, but that came with it. We had this new breather. Oh, we got a, a catch tank. Um, the catch tank that was on this was literally just one of those tiny uh, water bottles with some holes in it so it can breathe and whatnot. And the purpose of that is if there's any oil vapor coming out, maybe you overfilled it or just high revs, or if the carburetor is puking a little gas from your overflow with your float or from high G's, it'll end up in here. The filter uh, keeps any impurities from the air coming in. Uh, and the breather is important because what happens when you have the explosion above your piston, some of that explosion goes past the rings and in your crankcase. And if you didn't have a breather on your motor, you'd pressurize your crankcase and start blowing oil out the seals. So that's what this is about and that's why some oil will end up in here and you can drain it. So I think this might have been 15 bucks for this catch can. Totally worth it. Um, so those are the new things. Other than that, I mean these panels, this all came with the cart. We just used what we had. The vinyl, we had this laying around. Now you may not have it laying around, but if you have some good looking colorful tape and you apply it smartly and it's clean, that totally works. So other than a few cans of gloss black spray paint, uh, we used a little bit of steel looking spray paint for the back of the seat to freshen it up. And we had some high temperature paint for the exhaust. This is the original exhaust system. Uh, the only one thing we did special to it was I welded on these little Zeus fastener spring deals uh, on here because you don't, if the muffler comes unclamped, you don't want it to slide off and be a hazard there. And of course we safety wire. So safety wire is very important. Uh, but this, this is the car just as it was. So Peyton, I don't know, you want to talk about some and go test it? Yeah, I think uh, testing it is thing. what's up. You tell us about it. What do you think? Get in there. Yeah, so having not driven it since uh, we first Got it. We're really excited. To yeah, in the Walmart parking out. lot where we met the dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so we're really, really excited to test this out. Hopefully, get it out on the racetrack at some point. Uh, I think there's a test day coming up this Wednesday. We're gonna hit. I think so. I hope so. That's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to see how it handles on a on an actual track. Totally. Um, so I think you should go out there and test the heck out of it, and I'll get in it. And if it works, let's enter it and race and see how we do, eh? <laughs> let's do it. What do you think will happen? Honest, honestly, I have really high hopes. Um, Why? I have no idea. I just feel really good about it. I yeah? think we can kick some butt. I really do. Okay, cool. Let's let's do this. Let's let's talk about the reality about it. What about our cheapo racing cart is totally jank? The tires oh God, would not reach them? the bead. We yeah, tried literally these wheels are too everything. Too wide. We tried literally everything. We could not get it to pop, and then we thought, hey, if we drive it, maybe it'll pop to the bead the right way. 
And it didn't. Yeah, and it didn't. But um, they don't move and it doesn't leak air. Yeah, it holds air perfectly fine. Right, so They're beaded, it, just not on the It's like a magical wheel that suits every tire. It works great, honestly. That's it super really jank. Uh, so they're going to see that and they're not even going to let us run. Exactly. Or if they let us run and we beat them, we can be like, look at this jankness. Yeah, we did it on tiny tires. Hoosier's never going to talk to us again Probably after this. Not. Okay, what else is jank? Our chassis super, super floppy, to be completely honest. We it's are missing, floppy, huh? It's floppy. We Whoa. are missing a stiffening bar yeah, here. Yeah, we don't have that to adjust it. As well as on this side, you can't oh, really yeah. see it too great. There's supposed to be a coupler here so you can make it stiffer. Yeah. Because it's, it's cut. Okay, so it can be kind of kind of loosey-goosey there, huh? We think that stiffening it up might be the best course of action. So True. that might be something we do in the very near future. It also has like old school six-inch wheels on it rather than the five inch one like everybody runs now. It does. That's um, kind of like a 90s thing. Yes, that's our little throwback. <laughs> like an open road racer thing. So that's another thing. Truthfully guys, with the side pods we got and the wheels being the wrong size, you know, there would be places that wouldn't let you run because you'd have to be, but you know, there's gonna be places that are like, yeah, get out there, whatever. Yeah, so. that's the good thing about go-kart tracks. Just a lot of them are kind of just hometown. They're there to have fun just like you. Right, and if you're reasonably equal and all that, it's about the driving. And that's the whole point of Project Cheapo is, is. we want to see young people be able to get hands-on that'll help their engineering and also get to go out and drive and see if they're any good. And if you become an engineer, a test engineer somewhere, that's gonna help you be better. For sure. What else you think, man? I think there's nothing to it but to do it. I think we gotta get out there and test it out. Should we put some cones out in the parking lot and go for it? Let's do it. I'm on it. <laughs>